24-7 TV. Half of Russia's 20 richest people have not been sanctioned over its war in Ukraine, leaving a group of super-rich, powerful billionaires free to operate around the world without legal restriction. The richest sanctioned Russians. Here you can learn exclusively from 24-7 TV about the 10 billionaires that own or have been linked to a host of yachts, planes, helicopters and homes. Alexei Moore Dashov Moore Dashov is the largest shareholder of Severstal, Russia's fourth biggest steelmaker. He also owns stakes in power generation equipment maker Power Machines and TUI, a European tour operator. He has investments in National Media Group. Bank Crossier and telecommunications operator Ross Telecom. The same day as he was sanctioned, he shifted control of a roughly $1.1 billion stake in Nordgal to his wife, Marina Moore Alish Osmanov. Osmanov owns 49% of USM, a Russia-based investment group that controls Metaloinvest, Russia's largest iron ore producer, and Megafin, a telecommunications company. He also has stakes in Ali Express Russia Holding and Ackerman Cement, and controls Commercent, a Russian newspaper. Andriy Melnichenko Melnichenko is the founder of Eurocom, a producer of mineral fertilizers and agricultural products. He also owns most of Souk, Russia's largest supplier of thermal coal. Melnichenko's other investments include real estate holdings and a stake in Rossidi Siberia, a publicly traded electric powered. Victor Vexelberg. Vexelberg is chairman of Renova, the investment group that has a stake in United Company Russell, Russia's biggest aluminum producer. The Bahamas-based company also owns shares in equipment maker Salzer and Orlikin. He owns regional airports in Russia and sold 12.5% of a Russian oil venture for $7 billion in 2013. Genady Timchenko. Timchenko controls Volga Group a Russia-based company with interests in energy, transportation, and construction. His biggest holdings include 23.5% of the publicly traded gas producer Nave and 14.5% of chemicals manufacturer Sibir. Nave is responsible for about 10%. Roman Abramovich Abramovich is the largest shareholder of Ivra's, Russia's second biggest steelmaker. He owns stakes in Norilsk Nickel the world's largest producer of refined nickel, and London's Chelsea Football Club. He built his fortune from dividends and sales of privatized assets acquired from the former Soviet Union, including Sibneft and Aeroflot. Suleiman Karimov Karimov's family controls most of Polyas, the biggest gold producer in Russia. The Moscow-based mining and exploration company produced 2.8 million ounces of gold in 2020 and controls the rights to more than 61 million ounces in proven reserves. Viktor Rashnikov Rashnikov is the chairman of Magnetogorsk Iron and Steel Works, a Russian steel and pipe producer. The publicly traded company had revenue of $11.9 billion in 2021. Rashnikov acquired most of its stock in the 1990s by buying shares distributed by the Russian government to plant workers following the fall of the Soviet Union. Mikhail Fridman Fridman is the largest shareholder of Alpha Group, an investment company that owns stakes in Alpha Bank, Russia's fifth biggest bank, and five, a Russian food retailer. Through Luxembourg-based letter own, he owns stakes in German oil and gas producer Winterschul D and the international mobile phone operator Vin. His shareholdings in letter own are frozen as a result of sanction, German Khan. Khan is a partner in Alpha Group, an investment company that owns stakes in Alpha Bank, Russia's fifth biggest bank, and five, a Russian food retailer. Through Luxembourg-based letter owned the billionaire also owns a stake in European oil and gas producer Wintershow D and the international mobile phone operator Vin. Assets shown have been previously linked to Com. When contacted by 24-7 TV, he denied owning UK property and declined to comment when asked if held property in trust. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, subscribe my channel. It's Mike from 24-7 TV.